Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how you can create multilingual websites using WordPress. We will be using the WPML plugin since it is the most popular plugin to create a multilingual website. I am Aparna Singh from LearnWoo and let's get started. So first let's purchase the plugin. To purchase the plugin, go to the WPML website. Click buy and download. Now you can check out the pricings here. Well, I recommend you to select multilingual CMS because that offers all the features. In case you need the plugin for more than three websites, you can opt for multilingual agency. Next, you can proceed and purchase the plugin. You can find the zip file in the downloads on the WPML website. After you download the zip file, go to your WordPress dashboard, Plugins, Add New and upload the zip file that you downloaded while purchasing. Once the plugin file is uploaded, it's time to configure the plugin. To configure the plugin, you can see an option something like this on top of the screen here. Now click on it. You will be directed to the screen where you can see various topics. So let's start with choosing the current content language. Here I've chosen English since the content of my page is in English. I'm going to keep it that way and click next. In the next step, you can choose the translation language. So for this video, I'm only going to choose one language. Let's just choose the French language here. And here you select the URL format. That is whether you want the language to be mentioned in the URL or not. And here you give your site key. For that, click generate a site key if you do not have the site key. Once done, register and finish. In this step, you have to choose whether you want to translate everything or just a part of it. Here you also have to select whether you want your translations to be reviewed before publishing or not. Well, in this step, you have to choose whether you want the WPML support team to assist you with compatibility alerts or not. And here you get the options of plugins to get a better translation. You can either install and activate them or just skip that part if not needed. On the screen you can see that WPML has started translating your site. Now click finish. Now your setup is complete. In the next step here, you have to select items for translation. Once selected that, select the translation option. Like here, I have chosen the option translate. Next, we have a language switcher option. I'm going to drag English first so that this is the priority. And here you can choose what should be done. If some languages are not translated, you can either keep it in its original language or you can link it back to home. Here we have a menu language switcher. You will be able to translate menus manually and to sync menus automatically. Well, this means that whenever you edit the menu in the site's default language, WPML can immediately update the menus in all other languages. So just click add a new language switcher to menu. And here you can choose a menu and set it up. Here you can see they are asking if you want to send them reports. I'll just skip this part 
and let everything else be the same as you see on the screen. Now that we have finished the setup, let's see how it works. Go to WPML, Translation Management and tick the pages that you want to translate. Once you are done with it, click on Add Selected Content to Translation Basket. Now click on Translation Basket and here you can see it's preparing to translate everything. Once it's done, you will get a link, click on it and as you can see, it's getting translated here. And that's all. That's how you can create multilingual websites using WordPress. It is easy to create a multilingual website using the WPML plugin. Well, if you liked our video, do give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be signing off and we'll see you in the next video.